Absolutely. First save. First leg. It's Richie to throw first. Got by Daryl Fitton. Game on. But have to be at his very best here if he's going to get by the three-time BDO World Champion Martin Adams. Great first start there from Richie Housen, has to be said. He got a decent start last night against Daryl Fitton. He wasn't really that fancied against Daryl last night, but there were a few of us thinking, if he's getting through a qualifier, he's got form, and it was a little bit of an unknown quantity with Daryl, not playing a great deal of competitive stuff, so is it a surprise to see him in this round? Well, you'd have to say it was a bit of a shock beating Daryl Fitton and experience that Daryl ex you'd expect getting by Richie House has not played on any sort of big stage really he had a run to the last 64 in the UK Open but on the outer board so you'd have expected Fitton's experience to be telling but credit Housen and he saved his best spell of darts for the last set of the match and right, off three legs to the place in this second round here's the wolf who wins between a wolf and an owl then usually well, I'd, I'd back a wolf, and I'd back a wolf here as well, I think, Matt Adams. Bags 59. and bags of experience, and like I said, still playing at a high level. And you'd expect him to have too much for Richie. Because of the politics of the game, and we're not going to talk too much about that, of course, but did you ever expect to see Martin Adams play on this stage? Ever? Well, you never say never, but... I think he, he sort of relaxed a bit. 2015, he played in the Grand Slam, and it was long overdue, and he made an impact in the Grand Slam as well. Then he clean sweep through a group that featured Steve Beaton, Ian White, and Klassen. In the last 16, the last leg decided with Kim Ibrex, but he was the story of that event, you know, the champion aside. He was great to see him there, Martin, and it was. We just wish we'd seen more of him. He should have done it earlier on. And 121. If he could have done things Richie over again, I think 160. He would have had a go he'd have loved the crack, but. He still had a great career. Another one of those. I'll tell you what, that was in if the dart previously wasn't. 96. 119 Martin for Adams. Require, must go 19 first here. He'll know. That. Few years, he's made so many fans by coming to arenas like this, not just in 85. competitive play, but in exhibitions. I don't know anybody who doesn't like him. Yeah, I wish he had off from a, uh, you know, a, a fan's point of view. You'd have liked to have seen him there. But a uh, real class act, Martin Adams. I'll see. 100. I'm not trying to think myself up. When I won my world title, I, I took the title from Martin Adams. And within two days of being home as champion, I had a handwritten letter off him to congratulate me. So just to epitomise what a class act the wolf 60. is. Still got the letter? Yeah, somewhere, I will have it. A million percent, I have got it, yeah, somewhere, I mean... That's I'll, a nice thing to do, though, isn't it? I wouldn't like you to ask me to find it straight away, but I've definitely got it somewhere. 95. Well, I do believe that Adams is timeless. And I think he's got probably another ten years in him at this level. Like you said, he's... He's hit nine daughters in the last 12 months, 60. both at home in the live league when we were in lockdown and via the studio as well, up against some immense players. He's had averages over 110, huge ability in the mid-60s. Yeah. 100. Be by this happy persona, Martin Adams as well, that he doesn't sort of take it hard and he loses. He's still a big, big competitor. I've seen him on the live league and he suffers defeats when he doesn't play like he can. Still hungry. Like 180. A maximum and taking control of the opening set here. Someone in the crowd obviously ran out of paper to write Wolfie. So many fans here. And he's not that far from home. Cambridgeshire. Not that far from here. Maybe 90 minutes. Well, still possible. 51 for Bull will give him leg number two. Didn't really scare that treble 17, so Richie Housen has a choice to make. 37. As to which treble he wants to set up the Richie leg winning double. Richie requires 66. Nine or 11. 34. This is outside. 
And he's had that out in both Martin his legs, Richie Housen. 79. Hasn't managed to convert. Will he be made to pay again? He's gone treble 13, you know, for 79 with three darts. That only leaves one shot at the bull for 2-0. 54. Yeah, not sure about that way. I don't like it. I don't like it when players go treble Richie 16 Richie requires 32. Give yourself Game's the best the chance to be made to pay. Richie Alston breaks straight back. One leg apiece here in the opening set. Third leg, it's Richie to throw first. Richie can Game count on. himself. Pretty fortunate to have got that second bite of the cherry. But some of the older players have their ways. They don't really want to change. They see the benefit in the clarity that they have on certain shots like 79. And who are we to argue with a three-time world champion? Well, I'm going to say it's not right. <laughs> I don't think it's right either. Yeah. But I'm not going to say that to his face. It's not uh, hampered his career too much as decision making, has it, Martin Adams? But it's allowed Richie Housen a, a foothold in the in the opening set, who have been feeling a little bit edgy. 140. Play, play of the mat of a calibre of Martin Adams on that big stage. I'll say one thing about Martin Adams: he's always had glasses. He had. Those glasses in the 90s, didn't he? Were, they were tinted. 60. He looked like a cool cat back in those days. But Richie Housen has gone on stage with glasses on his head, and that's where they've remained. Yeah, again. Not sure about that, unless he's just forgotten they're there. 85. There they are, Richie. Oh, no, they definitely knows they're there now, yeah. Well, maybe he's using them as a headband. There we are. Richard, I knew there was a reason why Richie was only averaging 85. Glasses on now. 95. Oh, no. We're back up there. Well, he is his own man, that's for sure. He had Keegan Brown here yesterday cheering him on, but Keegan's had to go to other pastures today. He's up to Barnsley to play in some PDC events this weekend. 99. So I'm sure his wife, Lynn, is watching on. Big year for Keegan Brown. Missing out on the World Championship. Hopefully get back to the form we know Keegan can produce, but cheering on his friend Richie 45. Halsey. I'm sure he'll be watching. Richie requires 80. Martin seems to have taken his foot off the scoring pedal here. And Housen is looking good for the lead, but you mentioned going treble 16 on 80. That's exactly what Richie Housen has done. And he's missed a single 16 here for a shot at tops. I was going to say, he got away with it, then messed it up, but... I'm not particularly against it at this in this scenario. 80 64. plays 2, 4, 6, but... Well, I mean, we often see Merv do it, don't we? But I'm, I'm not going to tell Merv it's the wrong way. No, me either. Very strange that Richie Housen had 48 left. He didn't really do anything right in that previous 40. visit. All three darts missed, and he still left double Richie eight. Richie requires 16. He hit double 16 to leave this. For 2-1 can glide it in off the right side of that. No pressure. Game shot on the third line. Richie Housen. Time Richie Housen. Not a spectacular opening set, but Housen. Full play gets Martin to throw first. Glide to Game gone after dropping the first leg on throw. To recoup the next two without any fuss, really. And one leg away from an opening set lead. And the win, incidentally, will play. Keith Deller or Larry Butler and Larry Butler 61 very impressive this afternoon Paul yeah he was very good I think the experience of playing in tournaments recently has served Larry very well quarter finalist in the Las Vegas Open recently lost out only very marginally in that quarter as well and by that display this afternoon I think Keith Deller's got a plate full tomorrow Adams has got a lot on his plate in this set. 100. Oh, he's got to settle here, Martin Adams. G. Housen will take encouragement from this slow start from the one hundred and forty. Yeah, good visit from Richie. Is it worrying that Adams is only on a 76 average, but even with all of his experience, he'll feel a little bit nervous tonight. Yeah, well, he will, but there's nerves there 90. in any, any game you play, isn't it? Even whether it be competitive, you know, an exhibition match where you want to impress, there's always pressure in some capacity. And Adams will 
start of the match as a big favourite, but Housen. 57. He's trying to settle into it. Remember, Richie Housen, one of the two qualifiers, the Ian Moss in the final round. The other qualifier was Kevin Burness, but obviously that was then passed on to Dave Prince. He's going to stay up top for this. The 95. lie was good, but the execution not. Fascinating leg this. As Adams gets to us, gets to a finish, but look what Housen's got. He's 180 away from double 12. 98. Martin, you require 155. Should get a chance here, Housen. Well, you say that. This would be from nowhere. Not going to go. 99. Housen's on a three data to win this set. Richie, you require 106. He had a really good look at shots like this last night. Treble 18, it will be this time. He gets it for a set dart at double 16. 90. Not close. And Adams has got to reel this Martin, in. you require 56. Right, Adams. Keep the set alive and send us to the side. How should have the darts? One dart remaining. Um, 46. And Housen's already won a leg on this double eight. Is he about to win a set on double eight? Richie, you require 16. Could well do. Averaging around 85. Game That's good enough to take end. the first set against Richie Wolfie. Housen. So in the battle of the Owl and the Wolf, first blood to the Owl. Second set, first leg. It's Three Martin to throw first. To Richie Housen Game after on. dropping on throw in the opener. Cause for concern for Martin Adams. Not losing the opening set, he won't mind, well, he won't panic about being a set down, it's his level of play. 140. He is a master though at set player, that's why he's won three World Masters and three Lakeside Championships because that they're both set player. Ultimately, 140. with a slightly different format, World Masters was best of three per set, whereas World Championship matches like this best of five legs per set but he knows the complexities and he knows how to press the reset button 45 oh, yeah, he's not settling is he there's not really not really been too convincing back-to-back -back visits from martin yet and all it will do is help richie housen relax and believe 59 and get the job done here Martin's lucrative time in big titles was between 2007 and 2011. Players like Dave Chisnell, 60. Phil Nixon, Dean Wynn Stanley in those World Championship finals. But one of the ranking titles in his career is a real story. You go back to 1999 100. in Malmo, Sweden, and he picked up a solitary... PDC ranking title, which a lot of people don't remember. The Scania Open of 99 should be more well known because in that final in 99, 100. he beat a certain Philip Douglas Taylor by six legs to four for his solitary PDC title. Yeah. Right, Adams, he had a little spell in 2001, didn't he, when there was a uh, BDO players could play. He played in the 60. Grand Prix and the World Match Play. Martin, you require 156. On the match play. Just more proof that he was a world-class player. Doesn't matter where he played. Oh, yeah. Double 18. Game shot. Listen the to the crowd. Line. Martin Adams. Second leg, it's Richie Talk to about a catalyst. First. Game on. Something to get you going, and Martin enjoyed that, and so did everybody here. Yeah, we saw that finish from Kevin Painter last night, didn't we? We're seeing it again there, but on this occasion, just to give Martin Adams... 140. Just to, to kick up the backside. He, he knows he's been flat so far. So it is not the catalyst for him to assert himself in this tie. I remember 100. a game between Martin Adams and John Law from years ago. I think it was a World Grand Prix match. And they pitted them as England captains against each other. And eventually, I think it was John Law who won it right at the end. What a 100. match it was. Yeah, Martin Adams. Proud Englishman. 
used to sport those naughty red trousers that the England team used to wear. And that's to believe Keith Della will be donning them tomorrow. 125. Naughty pants here. They wear indeed. Have you read Shane Burgess's book about everybody gets 15 quid? He talks about the fact that the red trousers weren't 91. actually for you. They were shared around. It's interesting stories about the old England days. And it was around about that time where Martin was captain. Imagine that happened in the last two years. Sharing trousers around in the middle of a pandemic. 60. Not a chance. Richie require 170. Come on, Richie. Scare it. Maybe get it. Oh, he went for the right corner. A little bit of a 80. smirk, but Adams on 216 needs something sizable here to pressurise Richie's position. Went for the correct part of the, the treble there, Richie House, and the execution wasn't there. Adams is spraying a lot of darts. It's yet to settle 65. in this match. 65. Yeah, some of his darts are going in at funny angles. Richie require 90. I'd be fascinated to see where Richie goes here. Doesn't necessarily have to go this route. It's a very, very difficult out that 151, but maybe he's gone the bullseye route because of the 156 earlier. Martin, you require yeah, you 151. Class, waiting on a finish. It's always the chance that it may go, and House and looking on, and a wry smile, and it may go. This would be incredible. A 156 to be followed by a 151. And Adams just the wrong side, the wire. Relief for Richie Housen, but he's got to 25. finish the job here. Pressure on this 25 now. You're never safe when the Wolf's around. Double eight. Game shot Very the tidy from Richie Housen. Richie Housen. Levels up in this second set. Third leg, it's Martin he's to throw third. Who has game on. The impetus in this game. It's Adams who's chasing. Yeah, Housen knows he's one break a throw from potentially being on the verge of a two set to nil lead 85 we've already seen tonight someone who performed on Thursday evening play really relaxed and accurate stuff in Kevin Painter are we going to see the same from Richie House and it's not the 36. dominant force that Ke Kevin Painter was against your countryman Wayne Warren no, Wayne Warren never got going but let's not do detriment to Kevin Painter it was a good performance of Kevin Likes it on that big stage. Always played his best stuff on the big stage. 180. Uh, 180. Kevin Painter would openly admit it was the pro tour that was getting him towards the end of his career. He didn't enjoy it. But if you don't perform there, you don't hit the big stage. And ultimately led to Kevin losing 44. his tour card. In modern day darts, you've got to be a floor player and a stage player. You've got to at least tick over, Paul, haven't you? Absolutely. You look at players these days who don't necessarily win titles but they always pick up plenty of wins I think if someone like Danny not 100 he's only got one PDC title but he's always on the telly and the thing about Martin he's got 35 ranking titles to his name in the BDO and WDF system in his career but 100 it's the sheer consistency Martin, through his career that marvels me I think with the BDO and the WDF system, Martin Adams enjoys sort of being in charge of where you 45. play. PDC's relentless, you have to play. Uh, there's a sort of eight box system, wasn't there, in the BDO? So Martin Adams would map out his year. He likes to chill, he plays when he wants to. And um, I think that's maybe what drew drawn him to stay within the BDO. 54. And you can't fault the decision. Martin, you require 91. It great to see him compete in the PDC World Championship. Who knows what he could have achieved, but. Ultimately, his decision. His decision is triple 14 for double 16 to win leg three. 75. This time he's got no pressure. But you see that number 26 on the back of his collar. That signifies what you were talking about. The amount of world championships he's played in. I was on the Lakeside stage presenting a plaque to him when he won his 25th 59. appearance. That Martin was requires some evening. 16. A tribute to a fabulous player who has double eight Game and takes it for a 2-1 on. lead Martin in this second set. Fighting back is the Wolf. Fourth leg, it's sure Richie to throw first. Yeah, a little chuckle to himself. He knows he's not playing well, but 
two holes to throw and he's one hole to throw from leveling at the set but 100 lucky for more there for Richie it's a very loopy action Richie Housens isn't it his darts land flat but yeah he gets those darts to glide through the air and when you throw them like that 100. they do tend to sit down whereas Martin's propelling them with a bit more force here we see Richie just lobbing them through the air they've got a big arc to them throwing with those slim flights and getting them to land very similar to what Phil Taylor used to back in the mid 90s towards the early noughties before he switched to the short bulbous darts but this action hasn't changed much in the last 30 years. No. 140. Solid. Sometimes a bit lungy on the last start, but solid for the Martin Adams and just starting to up it now. I mean, his average still nowhere near what we expect, but creeping up to 85. He's now 45. averaging more than Richie Housen. That's the thing, isn't it, with Martin Adams right now? Because his average in the first set was towards the 70s. He is trending in the right direction, and if he does continue to improve set on set, Housen's got a problem. Yeah, but at this stage, Richie Housen's well, he's still got a good chance of winning this leg, and all of a sudden, that next leg becomes very nervy for Martin Adams. Richie Housen, minimum requirement, make Adams throw for the set. Making a great fist of it here. 140. Martin, you require 140. Can you find it for the set? There's your answer. Doesn't want to be sitting in the 90s here. 83. And he won't be. That's a lovely last dart. Richie requires 93. Treble 20 with the last shot to get himself down to 57. And now the bullseye's covered if he gets the single 18. Yeah, he shook his head at that, Paul. You, you spotted that, that covered the bullseye. He wasn't happy with it and... Stay He's trying to fill Taylor and the Oakley shot from the World Match Play back in 2007. Yeah, that's James Wade in that final. He pretty much hit everything, didn't he? But Adams for the set. Game and shot in the second, the second set. second set, and Martin we said Martin Adams, Adams wouldn't panic. Best player won the first, first set, first. and the better player won Game the second on. set. Not a great deal in the averages. And now we're at that. a best of three set game. Reminder, awaiting the winner of this is the winner of that match tomorrow between Keith Deller and Larry 140. Of course, tonight we have a couple more matches after this. Final game of the night, Robert Thornton against the greatest female player in history, Trina Gulliver. And before that, the small matter of Peter Manley against a certain Philip Douglas Taylor, which will take me back in time to many different finals that they had here. I'm really intrigued to see what happens in that one. But who's going to be through to round number three or the quarterfinals, depending 60. on how you look at the draw, before that one even starts. Plenty of leg sets left in this match. Bill Taylor, Matt, Peter Manley. Bit of a wait yet. This one, we could 60. see in a deciding set. We saw one to open up the day. John Walton finally getting over the line against Les Wallace. And it was all pretty much plain sailing in the afternoon then. Victories for Davy Prins, Larry Butler. 180! One Richie Housen in the final victor of the afternoon was Terry Jenkins over Roland Shelton. Who impressed you the most this afternoon? Was it Larry Butler or Terry Jenkins? Uh, Larry Butler for me, yeah. I, I expected Terry to play well. But, you know, Larry 100. Butler, I, I just haven't seen a great deal of him. Richie, you require 121. Circuit. Such a competent player. You know, I expect him to beat Alan Warren and Warren out of match practice. But you know, it was really impressive from Butler and showed no remorse. Houston's going to lay up here. 72. But he misses the single 18 there to leave himself on double 16. So a little bit of reparation work to do when he comes back. Adams has an unexpected opportunity to put on the pressure here and that's what phil taylor always talked about 100. in interviews keep them under pressure Richie at all times 49. Housen has put himself under pressure because he's only going to get two shots at double to win this first leg game shot on the first leg really well there Richie Richie Housen. Housen. 
Second leg, it's Martin to throw first. the board when finishing Housen and takes the lead in set three. When we talk about the afternoon session. We've got to mention Kevin Painter. Nine straight legs against Wayne Warren and uh, he awaits the winner of Phil Taylor and Peter Manning. 24. Kevin. Still got that real hunger, hasn't he? Yeah, I remember Wayne Mardle a few years ago talking about the end of his professional career, saying that the fire went out. I don't think the fire has gone from Kevin Painter. 45. I think the fire is very much there. Will. Will be expecting a rematch with Phil Taylor, but what has Peter Manley got up his sleeve? Just a little sidebar before we go into the meaty section of this second leg of the third set, but when Wayne Model turns 50, do you expect him to play in this tournament? Well, they've got to pull up the stops to get him here, haven't they? He, he, he doing what? He'd, he'd, he'd be great in the bed, Wayne Mardley. He'd be great. popular in here. He's great on any stage, isn't he? And, um, yeah. And he's not too far away from being 50. He's been asked a lot. He'll be here soon. Mad 140. Down. I'll let you answer that tweet that's just about to hit your phone. Now, Housen, who is proudly from Essex, less than two miles from this venue, you couldn't ask 60. for a more local venue for him, unless he played at the local garage, which is just next door. Colin Lloyd, another one, has got to be knocking on the 50. Two Essex boys in there. I was talking a little bit earlier about the strength of the Essex County squad from about 20 years ago. 83. What a team they had. Al Hedman, Dita's brother, of course. Colin Lloyd, Kevin Painter. This went on and on and on. What a team. The way Madlow just always tells me about a player called Ian Martin the required 140. Seen. Just sort of. Lost his way a bit, but yeah, a hotbed for that is the Essex County. Nice from Wolfie Tops. 74. A little bit of a groan on that one, but if you are going to miss it when your opponent's on 244, high and to the left, it's not the worst shot. The last thing you want to do is split it to the left and leave 35. This way he comes back for. 140. Oh, there's another Martin good player on the left there, Clive 40. Barton. Remember him? Yeah, played in the lakeside on one occasion. Game shot on the second leg. Right, and Adam Martin Adams. Up, we had at one set apiece, one leg apiece. Third leg, it's Richie to throw first. Martin, of course, who heals from Cambridgeshire. He's played for them for many years. And, of course, his own country. 60. Played in Europe Cups, World Cups. Tri Nations, Home Internationals, he's played in them all. One hundred. He's a big moment in the match now for Richie Housen. He looks way more comfortable tonight than last night. Richie for me was looking a little stressed under the pressure of a debut on this big stage. But it's been a really consistent performance from him in the mid 80s average all the way through. But Adams is starting to improve incrementally. See that average is creeping up towards the 90 mark now. 100. He may not be getting better at a fast rate, but he is getting better. Like I said, this is a big leg. House and drops throw here. Adams would then throw for two sets to one lead and would have the darts in the fourth set. But that's a good response from House and just when you're feeling a bit edgy for him as if he was starting to think about the occasion Look at that beautiful action that right forearm coming back 100. vertical a slight outward bowing of that elbow but he, he corrects that on the way through with a beautiful punctuated follow through a style all of his own Richie House and looping that dart in 100. like you said earlier I'm not sure if I agree with that last dart. It was a somewhat aggressive try to get the 140, but a lot of players might have gone for the bullseye at 25 to leave the two dart at. What will Adams do? Well, he's going to get more. Could he get the lot? 139. Yeah, he comes down. Richie really require 101. We see that a lot now because it's 25 leave, 56. But Housen 
Double 16. Been pretty competent on this side of the board. And 69. But Adams has forced the error and has Locking a chance you require 62. to lead in this third set. And it would be a breaker throw. That was Team House in there. His wife Lynn in there. Looking a little nervous. Wolf is looking at 16s for the lead. 30. And that's music to the ears of Team Housen. Richie that's requires way, 32. Right, not bringing the 25 into play. It'd be a straight 16 for tops, but Housen's got a tidy up here. Game Does time the leg. Richie Housen. Housen incidentally in victory with Daryl Fitton, average 83 last night. He's averaging Full play. It's 86 and a half. Here. It's just an improved Game performance, on. and it had to be. Adams slowly starting to get to grips with the match, but missed the trick there. This match has been played in the 17 to 18 dart range, which is six minutes. 140. Visits. If somebody gets hot from here and starts banging in five visit legs, they could take this game by the scruff of the neck, but at this position, Housen just needs one very good leg of the next 45 couple. And he's going to be two sets to one up on a very fancy player who a lot of people thought would win the bottom half of this draw. Yeah, Housen in a great position here. No pressure to break here. 95. Set up what will be the biggest leg of the match so far if we go to the side in this set. And it's looking likely. Good lead for Adams here. Had an interesting tweet from Bob Anderson in the break. Talking about the fact that he did share his red trousers with Shane Burgess. And they have a difference in height of nearly a foot. Look good in them, Bob, when he... Great to see Bob on that stage, finishing on a high as well. 99. Ultimately, Robert Thorne's had far too much for him. But went out in style with the max. Classy operator Bob Anderson. It was great to see him. 100. Nice turn there from Richie, but Martin Adams require in position with six darts from here, minimum, to take care of one third of 501. Yes, kids, if you're tuning in tonight and you want to impress your maths teacher, come Monday morning, just say 167 times 3 is 501. Yeah. 41. George, so in exhibition, he attempted that on the nine data, missed the last one. That's some going, isn't it? We've seen somebody do three finishes for the 501 in Mensa Sulevich. Martin, you require 126. But this situation is still very rosy for Martin. 107 left with two. He doesn't have to go the bullseye route, but. He is literally that sort of player. If the shot's there, it doesn't matter about what the opponent's on. He goes for it, doesn't he? Yep, he's found the 57 somehow. 101. That was a surgical second dart from Martin. And he's now gone 25. Instead of three darts at double, he's only going to get two. Uh, it only becomes a problem if Housen... Well, he's going to apply some pressure here. 99. And we saw Martin, Adams you require 25. Throwing, electing not to bring the 25 into play on the previous visit, and I don't think he should have brought the ball into play there, but Game he tidies it up and leg. steps up at the side in, leg leg in this third set. Big leg coming up, big opening visit Fifth for Housen. Fifth to throw first. Game on. I'll say one thing about that 25 checkout. They were only just in. He almost hit the double nine on the single nine, and almost a double 11 with the double eight. But that's what we've got the wires for, to separate the mediocre 95. from the brilliant. Adams to find one of those nine darts that he's been doing quite regularly on the online league. A couple in the last 12 months. 140. But he will take that. I met that young man earlier. An aspiring young dart player who is a big Phil Taylor fan. And by the looks of it, a very big snake bike fan as well. 83. Doesn't want to start donning my hair, do. Uh, waiting to see Phil Taylor. Won't have to wait much longer. He will follow this match. My hair's starting to resemble Martin's. Getting a bit silvery. 65. Adams would dearly love to take this third set. He's not played his best by any means, but he has scrapped brilliantly well. 
And over the years, he has been a really good closer in best of five leg matches. And that's what this format is. It's just a cluster of best of five leg matches. Because that's the best way to break it down. Adams isn't going to entertain going down the board. And that's that little snatch we see with Martin Adams. And this is, this is scrappy. Not a great deal, in it. Two points for Housen has the darts here. One treble visits are very useful. He has to switch now to leave a finish. 59. It's bare minimum stuff from the owl to leave 164. Where does Martin leave himself here? He does not want to leave a bogey number. He has a history of doing this. Must switch. 25 or 18s and doesn't do it, 100. but gets away with it. Richie require 164. Martin Adams, he, he knows what he's leaving. He just, he just gambles, I think. I think he backs himself, but in that situation, and now, that's a great visit from Richie Housen. Adams, 125. he's the 125, or it's looking like a 2-1 deficit, and he can't take it out. Housen will get three clean to go one set away from the quarterfinals. 83. That really was a fabulous setup. If you're not going to take the 164, require you'll 24. take a 140 every single time. Double 12 to win the set. That's not ideal. Well, that's not helping, is it? Oh, Game that's a great on the third uh, time. You'd have panicked a little bit first, uh, but stayed focused, and Richie Hausen moves back in front. Two sets Full to set. one. First leads. leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. Dealt with that leg really well, Richie. He really did. <laughs> It's always nice when you've got the throw. You feel like you should win the leg, but ultimately you are the person who is examined. 125. Passed that test. I have to say that double 12 hit though. It was a little fortunate. Well, I was half thinking he might be better off the second one going in the 12 just to give him a clean shot of double six. Because I just felt the first that I'd done him no favours, but he just 100. aggressively forced his way through and he missed it. Look, from our angle, it didn't look great, but he didn't move on the hockey deep Paul. He, he, he must have had a clean side to it, as it proved. And Yeah, sometimes the angles of our cameras are deceiving. One and the players on the hockey always get the best view. And everybody got a view of that one. And everybody can hear the howls. And I've got a sneaky suspicion this one's going long, Mark. 60. Oh, man, Adams will hope it's going long, otherwise... He's going out. That would open up this section of the draw, wouldn't it? And if Larry Butler was to follow up Six his days. words to Keith Della with a fantastic performance tomorrow, is Larry Butler possibly the favourite in the bottom half? And we haven't seen Lisa Ashton yet. Uh, Lisa Ashton still and to the fray, 41. she takes on Terry Jenkins tomorrow. Martin, you require 136. That. We'll see Trina Gulliver tonight against Robert Thornton. Will we see Martin Adams take a 136? Oh, magnetised. Double eight. Game Magic the from the world. Leg. Martin that Adams. deserves every little bit of applause it's getting. Second that leg, was it's magnificent. First. Game on. Yeah, Martin Adams hit a 136 and a 156. Paul, the timer, and they've just been to hold throws, haven't they? He needed to find a crucial break in that previous set. 140. Housen won't be overly flustered by that. Yeah, very well put, Mark, because if he's going to do that, Richie wants them, especially when Martin is throwing first. 140. And early in sets as well. Some Wolfie fans there, they still believe. Going back to Lisa Ashton entering the fray tomorrow. Looking forward to it. She seems to be playing with a lot 100. of pressure the last year, having to get wins to keep a talk out and win the world to win the series. Just to come up and enjoy an event, and, uh, and I think she will. Be some game with Terry. I agree. Looking at the way she played at Q School, averaging high 80s, and looking at what Terry did today, there's every chance that game could give us five great sets. I wouldn't be surprised. And I wouldn't be surprised if we head to a fifth set here. Credit Richie Housen. 
Look, we talked about his Dan Sixty. Seedy. There's not a great deal of experience in big games, but he's dealing with this situation here. He is a man who is very in tune with nature and pressures of catching fish at the river. He is up there with the best fisherman that I know. He's got patience, he's got poise, and he brings what he uses next to the river to the hockey, in my opinion. But there is a little bit of petulance in that reaction to the first start. There's the pressure getting to him just a little bit, but the recovery, exemplary. Yeah, any sort of setback Richie's had, he's recovered. You, 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 wouldn't, you wouldn't have been surprised if when Martin Adams started to get to grips with that third set that Halson would cave, you know, like I said, his lack of experience. 85. Stage, I've been impressed with Richie. Richie requires 76. Impressed with his barnet as well, look at that. I'm impressed with that first dart as well. Yeah, he's and he's got, got on double the second leg. On the end of Richie a string. Halson. Bit of feistiness there from the owl as well. This is what he's got to Third leg, it's Martin to throw first. Attack the Adams throw. Game he breaks on. here, he throws for the match. He's, he's really close to the quarterfinals here, Richie House, but at the same time, he's still quite far away. Depends on this little passive play that's coming up, and he'll enjoy seeing this opening visit, Richie. 81. Ooh, might deflate him slightly. That was some third dart, and he's needed a lot of those tonight, hasn't he? Because like you said earlier, he's been spraying them around a little bit more than usual, but he's been saving visits with really good third darts. And all of a sudden, there's an extra mile an hour in the step of Richie House, who looks very, very pleased with his efforts so far, and he should be. Dealing with the situation 100. really well. In good order from the crowd. A lot of Martin Adams fans in there, but a lot of Richie Housen fans as well, the local boy. Even the adjustments underneath. 99. These flat lying darts are starting to find the 60. The pressure is firmly on Adams, who's looking a bit rosy cheeked. It is very warm in there, but that's what this venue is all about. It's always been. No matter what the temperature is outside, it's 85. always been sweltering in here. Yeah, warm arena, arena you've got fond memories of, Paul. My first visit to the Circus Tavern, I've been very impressed. But with the progression of the sport, 98. it was only natural that PDC World Championship had to move, but this arena played a massive part in the development of PDC darts on the World Championship in particular. I don't think we should forget any venue that was used in the early days of the WDC or PDC. And indeed, we've already had a tribute 51. to Ollie Croft this week, who we lost two and a bit years ago. Richie you require and in the break, 64. After two sets with Peter Manley and Phil Taylor, we'll have a tribute to Andy Fordham. As Richie's looking to set up double 16. 82. This is on that third dart. But Adams, outside the finishing zone here, he's in a bit of bother. He is. A desperate moment for Martin Adams. 34. And that is not a good setter. Richie require we talk 82. talk about those 1-3-6 and 1-5-6s, they, they came under no pressure. He might have to like a 150 out the bag if Housen can't tie it at this 82. Does he go 25 bull here after that small seven? He's got him, yeah. Open for business. 49. Just it and didn't get any help from the previous two darts. Martin, you require 100. So messy that ball, wasn't it? It was all a bit... I agree. Very messy indeed. He couldn't do it again. He's got to stay. Oh, what, who, what do I know? 150. Game Incredible the from Martin Adams. Martin Adams. We Adam. said the 156 came when there was no pressure. The 136 came when there was no pressure. That 150 came when he was under immense pressure. He's fighting for his place in this World Seniors Championship. Had he been broken there, Richie House would have been thrown for the match. Incredible from Martin Adams. Keeps him himself alive in this set. Wow. 
43. Where did that come from? Because he threw a bag of nails all leg long. But it just proves you can never count him out. He was finding the corners of the travels and the corners of the double. But boy, was it good. 100. He's a fighter, this guy. Yeah, I can't believe he, he, he declined the temptation to stay on the treble 20. The fly was perfect. If you're going to have one down, have it at whatever double on the board, it would have left double 15. But he knew his route. He stood by Martin Adams. Six he goes two. his own way. And it proved the correct decision. Did you see Richie Housen after he hit the treble 18? He turned away. It was as if he knew that Wolfie was going to hit it. And what's deflating, Richie House would have probably been starting to believe, hang on, I'm going to win this. 45. All of a sudden, he's got a stack of work to do again. It's a bit like getting hit with a, a baseball bat in the lower ribs. Just when you think you've done everything right, you get that little sting 100. in the solar plexus as if to say, oh, that hurt. What, when you get hit in the ribs with a baseball bat, you get a little sting. <laughs> A little sting. Depends if you've got Getterman <laughs> Price's abs. <laughs> Ryan Adams. 54. Still got work to do here to close out this set and send us to the cider. You can feel the tension under this roof. It was a bit of a procession for Kevin Payne in the first one. But this one, this is a battle. Adams is scrapping so hard. And Housen, for me, is hurt by that previous checkout. He's thrown 12 darts to leave 270. And Adams on 3 or 2 is going to stick to the old school plan. 85. Should have really utilized the 18s a bit more there, but he does have a slight, lender, uh, slight slender lead. Man, Housen, that's the lie he likes, though, isn't it? Whereas Martin Adams sits up in the board, he likes to stack on top. 123. Just into the treble, that's unlucky. You're taking that, Housen. <coughs> Just to remind you all, if we do go to two sets all, the fifth and final set has to be won by two clear legs. And if we go to 60. five legs all, Richie will require be a one leg 147. shootout to win six five in the final set with no bull up. Do we have to go there? Because if Housen wins the next two legs, he wins the match. Now Housen has given 95. Martin Adams a shot at 157. Martin, you require 157. Can he do it once again to win this set? This would be incredible. Housen looking on. The Wolves at it again here. The 157. This is unbelievable. Martin, Martin Adams. Adams. He was under all sorts of pressure at one apiece in this set. Well, he plucks a 150, he follows it up with a 157, and we are into a this deciding final set. set. We deserve first a deciding set. To throw first. Both players have contributed Game to what's on. been an incredible matchup so far. Housen needs to go again here. Still, the favourite has the darts in the beginning of this set. I have not seen finishing like this since Bob Anderson in the 80s when. In a patch, 100. he got five gargantuan finishes in a row. But this just goes to show what's in the tank. Plenty. And Plenty even in the tank. Even Housen at the minute is still smiling at the fact that he was part of that set that we might be talking about for the rest of history in the World Seniors Championship. Incredible for Wolfie. He's got everybody in the crowd and backstage gasping. So, it is a final set shootout. Got to win two clear. 95. He's been here before. Not just in best of five set matches, but in world finals. Oh, yeah. He's had to dig in. He's been involved in 100. Epics. Seems to recall a match with Chris Mason. With Mike Gregory, the final against Phil Nixon. Glenn Durant. Yeah, he's had to do things the hard way, Martin Adams, but he doesn't shy away. 138. Gutsy player. I remember a game he had a few years ago. I do believe it was 2017. He was playing Ryan Joyce of Newcastle in the first 
round proper of the Lakeside Championship and it 100. went all the way to the last leg and Wolfie was in trouble the whole way and managed to pluck victory from the jaws of defeat. Can he do it again under a different roof? 55. Well, Martin, you require 161. Back, the third set, Peg Ritchie back. He led in the opening leg when he broke, but from there, Richie Housen has had him. Just where 99. he wanted him, has managed to dictate. But Adam, Richie require 113. Is what's got him back in the tie? It would have been. I wonder how Richie House would have reacted to being a set down and a two sets to one down, chasing a three-time world champion. Tops for a 1-1-3. 73. Small margin between the point of that dog and the 62. needed bed. But 62 here for Adams to stop Housen from doing what he did last night to Fitton in taking the first leg of the fifth. 20, found but only just. Double 16. 30. He's missed that combination again, and again it was to break Housen's throw. He had a chance Richie in the third set. 40. 62 didn't make it count. He didn't make it count there. Housen couldn't watch. He was looking out into the crowd. Well, we said that was awkward on the double 12, but he hit his second there. But these are nerves now. 20. Um, errors from Richie Housen. We haven't seen a great deal of them, to be fair to him. Martin, you require 32. We'll get into the business end, don't we, Paul? Yeah, he does look a little deflated after that shot. He's got every right to feel that way. Game the Wolf is in the to take player. the lead. Martin Adams. Don't think he's had the lead for a very, very long time, if at all. Second what leg. What a time to take Martin the lead. First. And he does win this leg on his own throw. He's going to have a couple of cracks at winning the match without a tiebreaker. An incredible. Just when we thought the tie was getting away from Martin Adams at one apiece in the previous set. He's on a run of three consecutive legs now. 40. And that featured those two big finishes, but that maybe was the most important one of the lot. Gives him the initiative in the deciding set. 100. Got to stay with Martin scoring at this stage and trouble his position. And Martin started with that 140. I feared for Housen, but he comes back with one of his own, showing his own metal and maybe looking at this Essex crowd and getting inspiration 100. from his own fans. I've been impressed with Housen. Big Daryl Fitton, remember last night, had it all his own way in the deciding set. Well, a bit different here. He's going to have to work hard. 100. Back. He's gone like for like so far in this leg. See, the Adams average is over 90 now. He's raised that from set one by almost 15 points without playing anywhere close to his A game. 100. But he has played his A game in spells, particularly on the big outs. 1 6 1 after 9 is always very strong. When you're in an average 60. game of around 85 to 90. Martin, you require 161. And key, Martin Adams had six. But you know what will happen if he hits trouble 17, yeah. That's probably a blessing, really, because he'd have gone for the ball. If he can just set up here. 81. If he set up, he could have left a two data, but... I echo that. I then think hitting that small two was a blessing because he would have gone for it. And then he's splitting 25. I can argue it's easier than 80, but... Just imagine if he'd hit it. 99. The way the game's gone, but Adams... Martin, you require 80. For a fourth consecutive leg. Oh, lovely. Double 10. Housen in bother if this goes. Will he get a look at 1 or 2? 60. He will get a look. <coughs> Try... He will to reverse his fortunes with this three dart out. I don't want to see treble one here. It's okay. Treble 14, surely. Yeah. Went the right way, but execution not there. 70. Adams to go one Martin away. Martin, you require 20. If he misses, he wants to be just on the outside. Can he work his way in? Clean target all the way to the north, double five, it's Game there, on the second it's perfectly leg. pitched, Martin and Adam. Wolfie is now within one leg of victory in this brilliant 
Thirdly, Second round match here at the World Seniors Championship. Game on. And that will have hurt Richie Housen. Looking to the floor, knowing Adams is going up for double five. No one likes double five, but Adams picked it off. 100. And Adams, this little surge. Four consecutive legs has put him on the brink of the quarterfinals. I like double five for about five minutes. <laughs> I hit it to win a semi final here, and that's the only time I've ever liked double five. 120. With a five on the end of that visit, I'm sure Martin will be very pleased with a 1 2 5 start. I once hit a double five to clinch a fourth set against Glenn Moody. 29 dart leg, Paul. Hey, they oh. all count. Oh, beauty. 100. There was a leg in the PDC World Championship recently. There was almost 30 darts. Second leg of the contest. It was in the final, wasn't it? <laughs> Doesn't matter as long as you get the win. And that's what Martin Adams will be saying here. The road is luck at times, but at the same time, it's 43. There. The evidence, the difference, those finishes to dig himself out of a hole and just when you th felt Richie Housen was going to cause the upset, Martin Adams. One hundred eighty. Lighting off too soon here. Splendid leg. One two one after nine. But his big problem is maybe not this leg, but the next. What a reply! Oh, he maxes back to him. To set up a 150 plus Richie shot, advice to you, Richie, hit this. Yeah, Housen down for treble 17. Housen's best leg of the tournament is a 14 dart leg. 53. Martin, you require 153. Cap off a fine display with yet another big finish. Wow. People think he's going to hit it, and he might. Welcome, Wolfie, Eight, to the quarterfinals. What a Mark way to do it. It's no fluke because there was a cacophony of massive finishing from Martin Adams. He enjoyed every minute.